Yeah. Talk to I like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporter on the Eagles. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to let y'all know that this video was brought to you by Print Champs. Big Print Champs in the building. Go ahead. You know where to get it. Hurt Season Hats. Ski mask Howie shirts, the all new defensive slime shirts, they just came out as well. Go ahead, use code Bully10, get you some savings, rock out with that. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. First of all, we're going to start off with my guy. We're going to start with the QB1, Jalen Hurts. He's been, um, he's been, listen man, I hate to even, I hate to even talk about this guy. Because at the end of the day, it all boils down to just the simple facts of the matter of him just being great. He's just great. I have no critique to say, but Jalen Hurts is a great young quarterback. Jalen Hurts' throw motion has improved year after year after year. Even in the new clip that the Philadelphia Eagles, you know what I mean, just released. The throw motion looks tighter. It looks more put together. And last year I thought this, like the dude is just improving. He's just improving, and he's remembering the mechanics. He's remembering what got him to the level that he played that yesterday. Nothing's changing. Nothing's slipping. No, no, there's no mental lapse with Jalen Hurts. He is on a mission to become the best quarterback to ever do this, I feel like, at times. And, you know, I like the drive of Jalen Hurts, and he just continues to, you know, continues to grow. Continues to grow and continues to prove the haters wrong. And, you know, in this press conference, um, well, just an interview he had, shout out to Eagles Nation on Twitter, um, they asked, this is what Jalen Hurts said, Jalen Hurts, and I quote, I've always been a unique player, but I'm really embracing the rarity of being a trip, a true triple threat, throwing, running, and thinking. For a long time, they said guys like me couldn't think, they couldn't process, so I'm trying to put that to sleep. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. How can you hate him? How can you hate somebody who wants to put a stigma like that to sleep and who's already doing it, if you ask me? Number one in multiple passing categories last year. You know what I'm saying? No quarterback ran for more touchdowns than him last year. You know what I'm saying? I think he was second in rushing yards. For, come on. And nobody made better decisions than Jalen Hurts. This thing evolved from a triple threat, evolved from a dual threat to a triple threat. Jalen Hurts is probably the first ever triple threat quarterback that the league has seen. Again, give me another guy that threw for 3,700 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, ran for 700 yards, and 10 touchdowns. It don't exist. And it was number one in all those categories. It does not exist. The NFL has never seen anything like Jalen Hurts. And I think that's why the haters are confused. The haters will pull anything out of there, pull anything out to try to denounce Jalen Hurts or what he brings to the game. But the people that matter, the people that voted him all pro, the people that put him in the MVP, the people that understand he's playing the game at such a high level, it's never even been duplicated. They're the ones we should be listening to. These guys in the division, they upset. They upset, man. Let's call a spade a spade. They look real crazy. Are they upset? They upset. They got to go to training camp. You know what I mean? They got to go to all of these places to see their team do the same thing that they was doing when they left the field. Dak still throwing picks. You know what I'm saying? He out here getting cursed out by Trayvon Diggs. The commanders, they, they, they do the same thing. They huddle up. They huddle up. They out there in Sterling, not too far from my house. They out there in Sterling, by the BMW dealership. I know right where they at. They out there right now, hyping themselves up. Hyping themselves up. The Eagles going to finish first in the division. The Giants going to finish second in the division. The other two guys are going to be at the bottom somewhere, fighting for respect. And we'll we care. We're going to be first. We're going to be first. Jalen Hurts is just impressive, man. Just impressive, man. We lucky to have him in Philadelphia, man. Let's talk about something else that's been low-key bothering me for real, for real. This has been low-key bothering me, for real, for real. Um, Jeff McClain, um, I don't know if he interviewed Hassan Reddick, but he talked about it. Um, th and this is Hassan Reddick, and I quote, I ain't going to sit here. You all see it. You all know what's going on. I'm just worried about being the best version of myself and let everything else sort itself out. Um, Eagles linebacker entering second year of three-year deal is 16th in NFL on yearly average. This is a quote what Hassan Reddick had to say about him potentially thinking that he's over underpaid in his mind. Hassan Reddick is vastly overpaid. I said this last. I said this in the middle of the season. In the middle of the season, that Hassan Reddick was was owed more money. I said this in the off season 
when they were talking about Slay wanting more money. I said the only person on this roster that has a legitimate claim of asking for more money is Hassan Reddick. He has vastly outperformed. Hassan Reddick is a top three edge rusher in the game. He should be getting paid as such. That's just the bottom line. That is the bottom line. Without Hassan Reddick, you don't have the many sacks. Without Hassan Reddick, I think you have more losses on your record. That's how much of a nuisance he was. That's how much of a nuisance he, he was. Without Hassan Reddick, your path to the Super Bowl ain't that easy. Because he was the one who put boots on uh, Purdy. The facts is the facts of the matter, man. It's a lot of defensive ends that should not be getting paid more than Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick being 16th on the least list is egregious. Now, I understand when he signed it, but he outperformed that. Only player in NFL history, 10-plus sacks for three different teams in the three consecutive years? Come on, man. The paper is due. The paper is due. You know what I mean? The paper is due. The writing's on the wall with that one. The writing's on the wall with that one. You can't be mad. Now, I'm not now. Luckily, he ain't running around here. He's still out there with the gang. He's still out there with the team. So he's not running around being mad about it. Because if we don't pay it, somebody else will. Somebody else will. Somebody else will. The fact that Hassan Reddick is so disrespected talent-wise, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Don't mean that you don't see that that you don't you don't recognize the talent. I mean Hassan Reddick should have been first team all pro last year. Should have been first team all pro. Some things you just can't dispute. Some things you just can't debate, man. A.J. Brown, number 22 on the NFL Top 100. Shout out to my guy, A.J. Arthur Wine Brown, the best wide receiver in the NFC East. Let me, let me think about the wide receivers in the NFC. The best wide receiver in the NFC, probably. A.J., man. Devontae, Devontae Adams is over there in the AFC. It's A.J. It's A.J. Chase, and anybody that you want to put up against AJ right now and say, well, he ain't better than him, they don't reside in the NFC. They don't reside in the NFC. Well, Jettis, Jettis is over here. You know what I mean? I'd go 1A, 1B, whichever one you want. But AJ Brown definitely affects the game enough to be number 22 in the top 100. You know what I mean? I do not think it's. I actually think that's a perfect spot because you got a lot of good players in the NFL. To be 22 in the top 100 is amazing. You know what I mean? I thought Kelsey was a little low. But 20, he almost cracked inside that top 20. A.J. Brown is a dog for sure. Um, yeah, man. Training camp going to continue. Me and Philly Mike going to get together this weekend. Um, We're going to do an episode of Go Talk. We're going to do what we got to do, man. Make sure that you guys go to Print Champs. Use code BULLY10. Get your gear because it is flying off of the shelves. It's jumping out the gym like Vince Carter. And, you know, go birds. As always, go birds. Enjoy the rest of y'all week.